Today we're going to talk about finishing beef cattle. So what does finish even mean? That means the fat covering on beef cattle when we're evaluating them prior to processing. There are several factors that influence finish, such as genetics, nutrition, frame size, and environment. So it is very important to understand how to evaluate finish in beef cattle. It is important from a consistency standpoint and also so that you get the most potential out of that particular animal regardless of production practices. Today I have Lee Minas joining me from NC Choices and he's going to go through a couple of examples of how to evaluate finish on beef cattle. Thanks Lauren. We're here today to talk about uh, evaluating beef cattle for finish and this is a really important part of your pasture raised and direct marketing program. That way you can produce a consistent product for your consumers and have the, get the best yield out of your animals. So what do we look for whenever we look in, are looking for finish on the animals? We're basically doing the same type of evaluation we would be doing with body condition scoring system. And we're gonna look at these animals and try to determine how much fat covering they have at several key points. When evaluating your animals, the overall look of them should be smooth from front to back. Starting at the brisket between the front legs should be noticeable fat development and blockiness with, between the front two uh, forearms. As you look over the shoulders, the shoulders should start to take on a smooth appearance as that animal develops a nice fat covering. And that will smoothly blend into the ribs, which will have a nice smooth covering on them and no ribs should be visible with correct fat covering. As you move up and across the back of the loin, especially when viewed from the side, as well as especially the rear, the loin and top line of the cattle should have more of a flat appearance from the development of fat cap over the loin, loin eye, and that will take away any prominence of the backbone. So no backbone should be visible as, as fat covering increases. Moving back through the hips, the hooks or the front hip bones should take on a really smooth appearance and, and in a heavily finished animal may almost completely disappear. As you move back into the pin bones or the two tail bones or hip bones on either side of the tail, they should be also be smooth and between them and the tail head should develop little fat pockets that will indicate a good finish on the animal. This is really important, no matter what your production protocols may be, whether you're grass-fed, organic, pasture-fed with a little bit of grain, or on a full feedlot type situation. 